So I've come here to learn the differences between client-side JavaScript and Node.js, or even to get a better understanding of what Node.js is. Well, I've come to the right place, and if you head over to the official website for Node.js, uh, Node.js.org, you can see that the first thing that it says is Node.js is a JavaScript runtime built on Home's V8 JavaScript engine. Now, that may not mean much to you right now, but just remember this sentence. And to better represent the differences, I'm going to show you this uh, diagram. So here you have um, your basic web application that consists of a front end and a back end. And your front end is your design, you know, your uh, HTML, CSS, jQuery. And your back end is your uh, request to the server or to the, to the database. Now, you've probably used client-side JavaScript right here, right in the front end, and you've probably used it um, in the form of jQuery or Vue.js. And those are all libraries that manipulate the DOM, the document object model, something that um, each, uh, you know, uh, web page has. Um, if you've also ever created a backend, chances are you've probably used PHP, Python, or Ruby. Now, you may have also used C Sharp, C++, and other similar languages. But you've probably never used uh, Node.js. And what Node.js is, it's basically JavaScript, but um, that doesn't run on your browser. So, for example, the client-side JavaScript runs uh, in your browser. And if you're using Chrome, it uses Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine. And what the developers of Node have uh, done is that they've taken that engine, they've also taken JavaScript and they've created to run on your local machine. So basically it has access to your file system and it has input output, which basically means that it can send uh, request HTTP requests to an API, to a server or a database, or you know anything on the web. Now what that means for you is that you can basically use the same syntax that you've already used in client-side JavaScript in node and you can have access to the file system on your computer and uh input output you know http requests also one very key thing about uh node.js is that it uses chrome's v8 javascript engine as i mentioned a couple of times which makes it extremely uh efficient and lightweight and it's really fast in general now also one of the major things that are um commonly used with Node.js is its Packet Manager, uh, NPM, uh, short for Node Package Manager. And let's head over to the website, uh, npmjs.com. And if you don't know what a package is, it's essentially um, a plugin that you implement in your code. For example, if you're looking to implement a clock in your website, uh, you're probably not going to want to code that yourself because you don't want to reinvent the wheel. Now, if you search for a package, for example, clock, we can see that we instantly get 544 packages. That's a lot of packages, and you don't have to write any code, you know, to create that uh, clock. All I have to do is just follow the documentation, and you pretty much have a clock. Now, as you can see here, to install this plugin, you have to type in npm install clock. But if you don't have npm installed, you won't be able to install that plugin. So in order to install npm in Node, you're going to head over to nodejs.org and you're going to click on downloads. Now, uh, depending on your machine, you're going to choose these options, but I recommend using the LTS, the recommended for most users uh, version, not the current one, you know, because uh, most commonly the latest features are either unfinished or they have uh, some sort of bugs so just use the recommended version and once you install that you're gonna have uh, node.js and npm on your machine now if you want to check what version of node you have just in case you can open up your terminal and you can type in node dash v oops and i have version 9 and you can also do the same for npm npm dash v and i have 5 h row Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys get a better uh, understanding of Node.js and what the differences are between um, the client side that you've probably already used and between Node. Um, in summary, Node is basically JavaScript, but it has uh, access to your file system and it can make HTTP requests. And it doesn't run on your browser, it runs on your local machine. Alright, so that's pretty much it and I'll see you in the next video.